gentle peeps. So we had a huge storm here last night. My pool is full of leaves and crap the bottom, so I've got to clean that today. My sunshade was down in the water. There's limbs and branches all over the place. But anyway, getting it cleaned up. But I did get this right here that we're gonna hook up pretty soon. So this is the Hayward Pool Products One Source Ever Pool Skimmer. So again, it's the Hayward Skimmer that I've been wanting. I think this is the one that you have to uh, cut the hole in the side of the pool and then put it in and put the little things. But we're gonna look at it and see here and check it out. So let's sit that right here. And let's open it up and look and see what we got. Unboxing of the Hayward Skimmer. So, looks like the cover and then the little seal right here. Then your tube comes down right there at the bottom, I think. And here's this. I'm not sure what this is yet. It's in somewhere. It's got some a couple of washers and then a little some kind of spacer of some sort and this also screws off like that so again this is something we'll have to read all about and check it out and see how it works and there's some screws because you need these to put the to put this part right here put this part in you need your screws Put this on the other side of the tank itself, the skimmer itself. Uh oh, lost my basket. There's the basket. Go down here, a little bitty basket. And it's a pretty big skimmer though. And here's your little flap. It's a little flap that comes on there. It'll fit on there. And then of course, you have the top. So if you put your basket down in there, like so, down the bottom there. Your water comes in here, and this is your top of it to keep it covered, this part. And that way, when you open it up and pull your basket out, clean it out, so that's that part. And then of course your flapper will be in front, and I'm assuming this all has something to do with the bottom here. So this actually looks like it screws in here, <clears throat> but I'm gonna have to read up on it and find out for sure exactly how this all goes. So give me a little bit to figure it out and we'll go from there and see how it looks. But that's the unboxing. And again, I'll show you it all. We have our instructions here. So I'll read my instruction manual and then all our pieces are right there for the Hayward, Hayward, Hayward skimmer. Uh, so anyway, I'm excited. Can't wait to hook it up. I've been waiting for this for a while. It was out, it was uh, not available on Amazon for a little while and it became available. So I'll put a link down below where you can go check it out. Thanks for watching. All right. <clears throat> so if you're gonna put this on, like I'm gonna do, my pool is full. So I'm not gonna drain it or anything like that. So you wanna make sure that you get this rubber piece that has the two ply right here and to get you a razor blade of some sort and you're gonna to need, to, need to cut this because you're gonna use one on one side and one on the other side. Make sure you don't cut your fingers or cut anything else, but you wanna do a straight cut all the way down and around. So I'm gonna set down on the thing and do that. Here. Because what you really want is you're gonna have this on both sides one on this side and one on the, and then this thing here on the end on the outside so i'm gonna hook it all up and everything before i actually cut my vinyl for my pool i'm gonna have this all attached so again i want one of these on the inside and one on the outside the only way i can do that with a pool full of water is to cut it like this and do one on the inside and one on the outside now i don't think this will hurt anything because i've seen other people do it and it's worked pretty well for them. So we will continue to do that ourselves and just cut this thing all the way around. 
tell you one thing, I don't know where, it is, where you are at, but it is hotter than fire here in Oklahoma right now. I am sweating up a storm. And it's not even, it's like 95 degrees, I think. Well, it's not even that, it's 92 degrees, but it's so humid. It feels like, it feels like Houston or somewhere like that. Orlando, we're here in Oklahoma. Norman, Oklahoma, where it shouldn't even be this, this, this humid. I'll tell you what, it is right now. You stand outside out here. We had several storms this week that have blown through, and so my pool is like super dirty. Got a lot of work to do to get it cleaned up. All right, so now I've got these in two pieces. So again, I'm ready to put one on here and one on here. And what I'll do is I'll use me a screw or a nail or something, I'm thinking. But just remember, make sure your sides, these are your sides and three is your top. Two your sides. There's several screws in the bag, but you only want to use the flat ones. Those are the ones that you want to use because they countersink into here. The other ones, the bigger, the, the round heads that came with it are for the wide mouth. And I don't have the wide mouth, so I don't need that. But again, there's more holes on top and only three holes in the side. It's for the wide mouth or whatever. So we're going to make sure we put the three holes from the gasket to match up with the two holes in the front of this one right here. And I'm going to poke a hole through my vinyl and my pool and screw all my screws in and screw it to this with this one. Again, with this one on this side. That way it matches up with the front. I'll put that all together before I ever cut a hole in my vinyl. So what I have to do is, and the best place to do that is going to be, since you're gonna be taking it from the flow into the, into your, I'm sorry, into here, you wanna make sure that you're right here where your filters are coming in for your pool. So I'm gonna do it probably right here and I'll grab it and show you here in a minute. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up about that high because I'm gonna have to put some more water back in my pool uh, once I get everything done here, I'm gonna put more water back into it. So this will actually be a good height. It's just right underneath that lip of this plastic right here for your for your uh, Coleman type pool. I'm gonna put it right here and probably a little bit more this way. So it's right underneath, get some good uh, steadiness right here. Uh, for right below where that filter's gonna, it's gonna take the place of that filter right there. And uh, we'll see how it goes. And I will let you know as soon as I get some holes poked in here and through here and get some screws put in and we'll look at it. All right, thanks for watching. All right, like I said a while ago, it is super humid out here. But anyway, we got it in. Again, don't forget to get this flap in before you start because you're not gonna be able to get that in very good and possibly without breaking it after you get the screws in. Make sure your seal, when you're screwing it in, is all the way around. And you'll know because you'll have a little bit of water leakage as you're doing your screws. If you do like I did, we have to do the pool with some water in it. But get all your screws in and tighten them all up. And next we'll be cutting out this uh, vinyl right here. So now we are watering going here, but first we've got to hook up the bottom. Now the bottom here is gonna have to have an adapter. So I will show you what the adapter is and what we need to do because this is a Haywood, or excuse me, a Hayward uh, skimmer bucket. And it's gotta go into my Intex sand pump, which has a different kind of hookup. So, I'll show you that, fix that together and put it together and we'll see how it goes from there. Thanks for watching. All right, gentle peeps, I'm back. So what I did, like I said before, is I got this conversion kit. So we'll set my phone camera thing my jigger right here. So again, we got this phone, this conversion kit, and it's gonna screw up into the bottom of here. So this screws into here. That's the new part that I got and then your hose that goes into your intake on screws on the bottom of here. So uh, what I do is I use this rubber washer that came with it. I put that right there and I screw this on here and that's good to go. And then this will go into my intake of my sand pump. So we'll take this out right now because what I want to do is I want to take some plumbing tape and again, always go with the grain or with your with your screws. 
So you'll see where it starts to screw on. You want to go in the same direction as the screw, where it screws on. Get you a couple of good, good six rounds or so. Once you get started, you'll be good to go. I've never been really fantastic at this, but it doesn't really matter if you're fantastic or not. Because all you're trying to do is get it on here so that way you get a good seal tight when you screw it onto the to each other. Ooh. So I get a couple of good rounds going here. And then when I get a smooth good round, I'll know I'm good. What that's gonna do is gonna keep it to it's just gonna screw in tight. All you gotta do is break that off. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and screw it into here. Don't really need any tape in here, but you could always put some there. Oops, I dropped. I dropped this. So I'm gonna keep that rubber gasket in there in the bottom. Screw that on, hand tight. And then again, we're gonna screw it onto here. So we'll go down here. And we're gonna screw this one up in here. And so maybe I wanna do that before I put this on here. That's fine, we can do that. But now you'll feel it's a lot tighter tighter than it was like if you tried to just put it in there. So make sure that rubber gasket's there. Put that in there, get it good and hand tight. And then screw this on and you'll be ready to screw this into your intake of your pump. Again, mine's a sand pump. And now this is the bottom part. Make sure it's all good and hand tight. And ready to go for that part and make sure this runs good length over there and it's perfect so when i hook it in i'll trade it out and i'll hook it in right there for where the old the old ones used to be and i'm gonna plug those up i'm not gonna use that old one anymore because it'll all come through here into there instead of through those other ones all right so next thing i have to do stand up is now i've got to cut the hole in here so once I cut the hole in here, but I gotta turn off everything and make sure that I have a, um, it's running through the pump and turned off and everything before I cut the hole that way because the water's gonna start going down in there. All right, I'm gonna go get a cut and see how it looks. Thanks for watching. All righty, as you can see I'm sweating. Colors is humid, humid. Now we're getting ready to cut this, almost. But I put the plugs in right there and there. So you can see now that those are plugged in. So they're not gonna run here. So this now runs to my intake of my pump. I pulled the other one, and I'll take that all off and fix that. But now it's ready. So when I cut the hole, because my pool is full, the water will go into here and be ready to go. Cause I've already got the basket in there and I got my little lip. So all I gotta do is cut it. So wish me luck, gonna get it cut and see how it goes. Alrighty, so the job was done. The hole's cut. And the water's going in, and you can see, oh, you can see it or not, you can see a little bit of rotation. So I just turned it on, so we'll see. What I want to do is see if it fills up the from the trash in the pool, and it's going hooked into the uh, sand filter. So we'll see how it rolls. Again, it's, uh, it's the Hayward skimmer bucket. Really make sure you tighten those screws up good because I have a little bit of a leak at the beginning. Tighten up those screws helped. So make sure the screws are good and tight when you're getting them finished. And uh, watch for any kind of leaks around the edges. If anybody else has leaking issues, let me know. See how you fixed it, what you did. So far, I've just tightened the screws and so good, good so far. So we'll see. I appreciate you watching. Thanks. Bye.